Muhammad Hijab has been outspoken when it comes to the Israeli crimes inflicted on Palestine. How have they responded? They have written his name on a missile which was due to be dropped on Gaza on our brothers and sisters. And Piers Morgan put this forward to the advisor to the Prime Minister of Israel and his answer was frankly quite disturbing. Stay tuned. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. As we know Muhammad Hijab MashaAllah has been quite active when it comes to the activism pertaining the rights of the Palestinian people. He went on the Piers Morgan show not once but twice. Yeah, Second time he debated the most famous rabbi in America. Reason why I put air quotes is because his tweets don't really get much traction. In fact the only times they do get traction is after his debate with Muhammad Hijab where he is trying to recover and claw back the little bit of self-respect that he has left. And he gets rid of that as well by bringing and uh, pretty much using his daughter to sell his sex books. So to be explicit, but that's exactly what he does. He's really cashing in on that sort of stuff and his daughter's also got a sex shop as well. So it really hit him hard, frankly, yeah. Hana's uh, kosher sex company, uh, based on the book that I wrote, and especially the lubricants that he spoke about. With oh, that's sand. right, the super slippery ones. Super slippery ones. So it goes to show that Muhammad Hijab, mashallah, really hit him where it mattered and he has now become somebody that they take seriously. In fact they are clearly watching uh, the discussions that are taking place pertaining this. They care a lot about what the world thinks about them which is, you know, is there anything lower than the droppings of a cockroach? Oh my god I just got a mental picture! So when Piers Morgan put this forward to the advisor to the Prime Minister of Israel so this guy, his name is Mark Regev. You've probably seen his, uh, you know, you know when you unfold your arm and you know you look at your elbow and then you look, you're like, oh, wrinkled up skin. You know, it reminds me of someone, frankly. Yeah, Mark Regev, do your thing. I wanted to show you a picture. This is of uh, uh, IDF bombs, and they've inscribed on them the names of actually a number of people who've been guests on this show: Muhammad Hijab, Andrew Tate, and also one of my next guests, Jenk Wieger. Um, what is your response to that? That's a fair question because putting someone's name on missiles is threatening, it's intimidating. According to any morality it's against decency and humanity as well. Let's see how this bag of wrinkles responds. Uh, maybe IDF soldiers are watching your show, is that possible? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the response of the advisor. He advises the Prime Minister of Israel. If this is the Don advising him, flip an egg mate, yeah? Don't hold your hopes. So in other words, this Don is saying that if you put his name, Mark Regev, on a knife before shanking someone in London because hey, why not? Then he's gonna have no issue with it whatsoever. He's just gonna conclude. <laughs> Maybe IDF soldiers are watching your show, is that possible? Frankly, it's a response I would expect from an autistic koala bear with a leg missing. Then Piers hits harder than he was hit last week for the phone tapping scandal that was picked up and smeared all over the tabloids. Yeah, but do you think it's uh, a, a sensible thing to be doing to be putting names like this on these bombs? Well, first of all, it's obviously the, this is uh, some soldiers trying to be funny or creative. My man actually said this. He's gaslighting us to the max, mate. You know what I mean? Maybe they just have a sense of humor. What a twisted sense of humor, mate. When I think of sense of humor, I think knock knock, who's there? To these dons, it's like knock knock, who's there? It doesn't matter. I put your name on a bullet that I used to shoot a granny when she was out getting her groceries. And then he went on to say creativity. If you're talking about creativity, do a painting, do a coloring mate. Don't flip in level towns and villages. The man's talking about creativity. Creativity creates stuff like art, it doesn't destroy things. These people honestly bro, IQ in positive numbers for these individuals is an insult. Their IQ levels should not exceed anything other than minus double digits. That's all I'm saying mate. The Prime Minister of Israel would be better off consulting with the toilet brush. Frankly, I think it would do a better job. 
it would stink less and it would look a bit more attractive, even though it's covered in brown sauce. But it, there's a history here going back to the First World War, isn't there not, of soldiers drawing pictures on, on, on shells and so forth? It's, it's something that soldiers have done. I'm not justifying it, but I think British soldiers have done it. Sounds like you're justifying it to me. It. And then he puts the cream on the top. Yeah, because that's what you got to do. He says, yeah, yeah, well, the Brains did it as well. Oh, you're using the Brits, yeah, as a standard. The Brits did a lot, mate. That's all I'm saying. All you need to Google is a Kenyan tribe called the Kukui tribe. And all I'm saying is they took the Brits to court and they got some dosh out of it as well, frankly. Yeah, and some of the stuff that they were saying, I don't think is suitable for a YouTube video. But all I would say is they... How would I do it without getting censored? They would use certain things to remove certain parts of their body. You know, private, you know, you know what I'm saying? Now that is mental. The first time I heard that, I was like, that's so weird. Like who would do that? I don't know, it's shocking, bruv. You know what I mean? People are like, no, no, context of history. What context of history allows you to use pliers to, you know what I mean? get rid of someone's that's messed up mate and people who defend that are even more messed up and people who look up to that are even more messed up talking to you bag of wrinkles anyway madness may Allah protect our brother Muhammad Hijab Ali Dawa and all the other brothers that mashallah are doing their thing even on social media mashallah I've seen brothers even with small followings making a big impact mashallah consistently posting alhamdulillah we are all one ummah every little helps in whatever capacity that we're doing some people that are going out for marches some people advocating for boycotts whatever you're doing mashallah keep doing your thing inshallah justice prevails and Palestine is free let's leave it there guys until next time Assalamu Alaikum